Show me how many eggs you got. Look at all those eggs. Uh, Can you show me, Bo? Show got, me your eggs. Yeah. We got one, two, two, three, three four. We got four eggs this morning, didn't we? And we just hang out for a little bit and we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time? Oh, we're just going to hang out. But we're back inside where it's warm now hanging out because it's cold outside, isn't it? Yeah. And a little bit sunny today. A little bit sunny. <laughs> All right, guys. Good job. So I just wanted to give you a quick update on the eggs. We are now 15, 16 days into it. So they're getting ready to go on lockdown this week. And uh, we, we did candle those eggs. Um, it looks like we're going to, it looks like there was activity going on in almost all of the eggs. So, um, we're hopeful that they have kept going. We did that really quick one night. Um, didn't have a camera, uh, when we did that. So, but, um, so far we've still got eight eggs in there and we're going to keep on hoping that, uh, we should have chicks hatching sometime this week. So we'll let you guys know once that happens. This weekend, Ethan came down with some poison ivy, and I didn't even know that you could get poison ivy in the winter. I thought it was dormant, but he has it, and it's spreading. So we're going to make a paste today to put on that, um, just out of some household stuff that we have here. It's snowing, and I'm not sure how the roads are. We haven't been out today, but we got like five inches of snow last night, so we're not going to go anywhere. I'm just going to whip this up here, and we'll put that on. Hopefully, he'll get to start feeling better. We're going to use some lavender and tea tree oil, activated charcoal, and just some baking soda. Alright, so we're just going to take a few spoonfuls of baking soda. And then these are activated charcoal pills or caplets or whatever you call them. And I do have the powder but it's really messy so I'm gonna just open up a few of these capsules dump out all that charcoal in there and these three the charcoal helps to draw out impurities so I'm thinking that it'll kind of help clear up and get it out. Clear up this poison ivy oil that's on his skin right now. So I just got some there and then I'm going to put a couple drops of this lavender tea tree oil. Lavender is calming and tea tree is very cleansing. Um, it disinfects. You can use it on cuts and scrapes and bug bites and stuff to help stop itching and to um, clean out the wound. So I'm just going to mix it all up and it's starting to turn black and it will be black when I put it on them. It'll be kind of messy but it washes right off. It's a big hunk of baking soda. <laughs> Alright, and then we're just going to pour in some water, just enough to make a thick paste. We don't want it too runny. Because we want it to dry pretty fast once it's on his skin. Whoa. Goodness. Well, I just made a huge mess of that. Get some more baking soda here. So that's too much water. So it is pretty messy if you're not careful. Like I said, you want it to be pretty thick because it'll uh, dry up and then it won't be runny everywhere and gross. It'll dry up pretty fast. The thicker that it is. But you also want to be able to, to smear it on there as much as you need to, so you kind of just got to watch the consistency. Alright. 
So that's good. It's not running, but you can tell there's some moisture in there. Just enough. So if you rub it on your skin, it'll dry. It's already drying pretty fast. So. And then the last thing to do is just label it. So if you don't have charcoal or the essential oils, you can just use baking soda as a paste too. Um, just mix it with enough water to form a thick paste. Um, I just like adding in these extra things to kind of give it a boost. So this is just a little home remedy that you can use um, for poison ivy. We're going to go try this on Ethan. Hopefully he feels better soon. It's cold and, and just <laughs> there's snow and it's kind of one of those nasty times of the year spring has not sprung yet here in Missouri so we are kind of stuck inside we've been working on the farm we've been doing what we can when we can outside but it's kind of tough to go do uh, things when you get you know we had four inches three and a half inches of snow yesterday so one of the things I'm doing today is I am trying to get a feeder, two feeders built, one for our stress-free chicken tractor, like a hanging feeder that goes down the center of it that we can dump feed into, and then one also, a feeder also for one of our meat, uh, uh, our salatin style chicken tractors for our meat birds. So uh, we just can pick it up and move it. I'm trying to make it out of PVC. I've got this four inch PVC pipe that was left over from another project that I did. Uh, it's, I don't, I can't remember. I think it's approximately four foot. So I'm cutting it into two pieces and I'm going to try to make uh, a feeder out of it. So that's what I'm trying to do today. Hey, all right. So I got the two pieces split. Not to look perfect, they just have to work. So uh, I've got wood glue in here. I don't know if the wood glue will adhere to the PVC, but I'm gonna let the wood glue dry before I put the handle on. We've spent the last, we spent all winter really preparing for spring, you know, and it's amazing how you get so tired of winter just because you know what's to come and you've got all this work to do watch out jeff i don't want to get this on you you've got all this work to do and you got everything all these plans and some of it's anticipation some of it's just tired of being stuck inside and some of it is just literally it's just you're cold all the time so it's kind of nice to the snow is beautiful the changing of the seasons are a great reminder of things to come but it is definitely winter gets to the point where it's like it's time for spring so i got the feeder completed and i'm going to test it out i'm actually going to give this feed to our chickens in the chicken feed just to see how it works with a full-on adult birds but i spaced it to where i thought three week old birds could probably get to it and i probably need to put a middle brace to it so you can see it right there. Um, and then that bar is actually removable. So. There they go, they are taking care of it. Thanks for coming along with us today. We'll see you next time. We're out. You're a what? Kicking. A bone kicking? Yeah. What are you doing? You making a snow angel? No. I'm covering that dirt up. Covering that dirt up?